Nice easy job today to ease us into the new year. Today I am fitting a pull-up bar for my daughter. folks welcome back a nice little easy job today well <laughs> you'd think it would be easy but as per usual the instructions that came with this uh, pull-up bar are complete nonsense go on then this should be a laugh rotate out both ends of the rod mount a rubber pad onto each end and place the rod against the mounting position hold the middle of the rod and spin it until it can't move spin the entire rod after the rod is mounted stand on tiptoe and pull it to ensure the strength for safety. I think it's saying don't even bother screwing the brackets to the wall, which is absolutely insane. If <laughs> you would never mount this in a door frame and just rely on the friction between the little rubber pads on the end of this and the door frame to keep it up, surely. Oh my God, don't do that, folks. You need to screw the brackets to the uh, frame. Instructions for use of accessories. The screws, white iron rings, and black plastic parts are spare parts to be used when you need to hang heavy objects on the bar such as sandbags and swing why would you hang a sandbag off it under such circumstances holes are needed for installation generally they are not needed but transparent rubber pads must be used uh, seriously folks you've, you've got to screw the brackets into the uh, frame what else have we got in these comedy instructions? Ensure the middle hold is fastened. If not, spin to fasten it. Pull it a few times before each use to ensure the rod does not loosen. <laughs> Pull it a few times to make sure it doesn't fall on your head. I've just realized as well, spoiler alert, I've jumped forward a little bit here in the video, but I just want to show you me for scale so you can see how big a person is in relation to a doorway and this uh, pull-up bar. What's going on here? Hold on a minute. This is it on the Amazon site. <laughs> They've made him a miniature person. There's no way you could do that kind of pull-up in a doorway. You, <laughs> that's like, look, he, his, his body's like, what, a third of the size of the entire doorway? Like if, I mean, I'm not that big, but <laughs> there's, there's no possible way you could do that kind of pull-up in a normal doorway. <laughs> They've miniaturized the model. <laughs> the direction of movement or hand force must be the same as the direction of tightening the middle hold so as to ensure that the middle bar will not loosen absolute bobbins so i figured i would show you how i would approach putting up a pull-up bar like this it's going to go in the doorway here just on this particular door frame it's worth mentioning that on this particular door frame we've got a nice big wide door stop and this is absolutely perfect for attaching the pull-up bar into and plus i've also got the flexibility to go in this section here as well this is also wide enough whereas if you've got a door frame that looks more like this where you've got a really narrow stop and then not very much space on the outside of the stop your options are really limited there's not enough space on the stop itself and there's not enough space here and obviously you need to make sure that you can still shut the door so personally what i would probably do in that situation is i would just notch out a section of the stop Obviously, you're not going to be fitting at a door handle height, but it's just so you can kind of appreciate the scale of this. But I would probably notch out from, you know, a section like that. Just literally cut out a little section of the stop. It's easy enough to glue back in and filler afterwards. It's not really structural, the stop. As long as you're just taking out this little section here, you're not going into the actual door frame itself. You should find that you can do a cut across there, a cut across there. And you should be able to literally just get a chisel behind that and just take that little section of the stop out. And then that gives you a much wider section of door frame that you can attach the brackets into. I've already marked the height on the door frame so we know where it's going. So it's basically going to be going just there. Obviously, wherever you're putting it, make sure you can actually shut the door 
when the pull-up bar is in place but here you can see this is the door stop going down this edge here so you know the door is not going to go any further than that so this is really the perfect mounting point for it the first thing to do before you start with anything is to check that the top of your door frame is level because if it's not you're going to have to use a spirit level to level out your pull-up bar if this is level then you can just measure down off both sides from the top of your door frame and that's a little bit easier so I'm just getting the spirit level and putting it against the actual door stop which is this section here because this is where the pull-up bar is going to attach into so I'm just going to pop the spirit level on the top of the door frame there we can see here I'm perfectly level so I'm going to be absolutely fine just taking a measurement down from the left and a measurement down from the right and we'll know that the pull-up bar will be level if this wasn't level then you would want to mark a level point from the left to the right either with a longer spirit level or a spirit level with a straight piece of wood attached onto it just so you can get a marking on both sides that you know are perfectly level regardless of whether or not the top of your door frame is level so as I say I've put a little mark on the door frame just to show where the bottom of the bracket needs to go so I'm just going to measure down and we've got 12 and a half centimeters or 12.6 centimeters there so I'm just going to put a mark on the other side just at the same height So these are the brackets that come with it. You can see they're really straightforward, basically just four screws, three around the outside and one in the middle. And I'm assuming the middle screw goes through this little kind of bush thing. The instructions don't match up to what this looks like, which is no huge surprise, but I'm just gonna kind of work it out and I'm sure it'll be fine. You can see on the end of the pull-up bar itself, it's got this kind of rubber inset Thing, washer type thing and I'm assuming basically what's going to happen is that that's going to go over the top of that and kind of lock itself in place as per usual the screws that came with it are awful Phillips things really poor quality as well you can tell they're really lightweight so they're going straight in the bin and instead I'm going to use some little 8 gauge by 1 inch round head wood screws posi drive head on them these happen to be Quicksilver screws from Screwfix. You use whatever brand you want. As long as it's a decent brand, that's fine. Then I'm just going to line up the bottom of the bracket with the little mark that I've already put on the door frame. It doesn't really matter what orientation it goes in as far as I can tell. Um, so I'm just going to make sure that it's pretty much central to the actual stop itself making sure especially that it's not overlapping on the back side because you want to make sure the door can comfortably close so that's all in line there I'm just going to put some marks to show where the holes are going to be and then I am going to drill some pilot holes for these if they were self drilling screws you could probably get away without it but these are MDF door stops on here and it can be quite dense so just to give them a bit of a helping hand I'm going to drill four little two millimeter pilot holes in here and then straight in with the impact driver I'll do the center one first just to temporarily hold it in place and then I'll do the outside ones and then I'll just take that center one back out and then just pop the screw through the little plastic bush I'm not gonna fully tighten that with the impact driver because I don't want to risk breaking that bush so I'm just going to get a manual screwdriver just to tighten that up that's great just check the other screws are nice and tight perfect and then exactly the same for the other side And then all 
all you do, once again, it doesn't particularly tell you this in the instructions, but on the left hand side we've got like a normal thread. On the right hand side it's a reverse thread, so to make this come out you're actually going to turn it clockwise, which is probably the direction that you would normally tighten something in, but obviously you just turn that until you've got pretty much the same out both sides. Let's have a look, we're born to about another inch and a half out there. There's a link in the description to this particular pull-up bar by the way. I've never used it so I couldn't tell you if it's any good or not but it's just the one that I'm gonna use. <laughs> Pretty even to me. Uh, I'll just pop one side in and then I think we should be able to just turn the whole middle section. So basically as long as that side stays still and I hold on to that side then because of the reverse thread in this side it means that all you have to do is turn the actual pull-up bar until it's nice and tight. pretty good to me. Don't over tighten it because you will start to push apart your door frame and you don't want to do that so don't over tighten it. It wants to be like comfortably tight but not crazily tight. I think that'll do. Let's give it a try. Just use a damp cloth to get the pencil marks off your door frame. If you've got any questions, pop them down in the comments below. I would generally always say follow the manufacturer's instructions, but because the instructions that came with this were completely meaningless, I just had to improvise, which is often the case, but I think that will do the job absolutely fine. It's not going anywhere. There's some videos coming up on the channel all about different screws and what types of screws to use for different scenarios, so do subscribe if you think that that would be useful. Thanks again for watching folks, I shall see you next time. Tatty bye!